Watch this and then get back to show you how you can create titles, effects and documentary animations like Netflix in Final Cut Pro. Behind every book, every story that has captured our hearts and ignited our imaginations stands a sentinel of the written world. stillness of dawn where thoughts find their clarity, a story silently blooms. In the sacred space, Eric embarks on a journey not just of creation but of profound discovery. Among these tools of trade, each holds stories untold, dreams unshared and worlds unexplored. They are not just instruments but extensions of the Eric's very soul bridging the gap between the ethereal and the tangible. The act of writing is both a confrontation and a dance with the self, a relentless pursuit of truth through the maze of imagination. Here in the quiet battle between word and blank page, Eric finds his voice. Inspiration lurks in the ordinary, waiting to be unveiled by those who dare to look closer. It is in these fleeting snapshots of life that Eric finds the seeds of stories that resonate with the core of human experience. Eric tales become mirrors in which we see our own reflections, shared sorrows and collective hopes. As night falls, Eric's journey reflects a truth we must all remember that within the realm of words lies the power to change, to heal and to unite. And so, as our tale circles back to the quiet of night, remember this. Stories are the threads that bind the fabric of humanity. Let us cherish them, share them, and above all, let us continue to write them. For in the end, we are all writers of the story called life. If you create documentaries or you create any type of video that you want to replicate the style of Netflix, besides some other aspects that we will look in a different video, when it comes to video editing, titles, effects, transitions, this pack that I'm showcasing today has everything that you need. So let's begin with the tutorial. As soon as you download the Motion VFX installer and you have installed the M documentary, you go into the titles and you see all of these available options that you have for your videos and the options that we used on the video that you saw. For example, we have backgrounds, as you can see here, this is the background of uh, the final credits. This is another background. You can have a background with a film roll. You can have a background where you place the image that you want or the video to be on the back. You have another option and a tape. Then you have the freeze frames. With the freeze frame, what you can do, you can drag this, place it as a layer on top, and then you choose a frame and then start drawing with your bezier mask. So if you want, you can start from here, select the frame that you want. You can set this as the current frame. I'm doing that quickly for showcasing purposes. Click on set current frame you see that it creates the freeze frame. Amazing! Then we have movements, uh, something that we saw a lot. We, we have the custom movement where we can set where we want the movement to be. We have the distortion zoom where it has these particles that you saw in the video as well. Uh, zoom out with the distortion, flash zoom in that it's flashing out and flash zoom out and then you have the move horizontal, vertical and the target zoom in where you can set the target that you want in the area here. Then we move on with the overlay effects. We have the anamorphic effect. I use the anamorphic effect on the whole video as you can see here on a layer. We have the blurring, censoring, double exposure, dreamy look, all of these were on the video that you saw. We have the film burn, film dirt, film strip, flicker, glass, grain, lens dirt, the lens effect that you saw with the word love, letterbox, light and shadow, 
light leaks, LUT presets that you can use to enhance your video, make it uh, look more like a movie, particles where you can select the particles that you want, photography, picture, static, VCR and vignette. And then the section that looks a lot like Netflix is the timelines, where you can have a time jump, the time range that you saw in the video, a timeline, timeline pointer, and year. And then we have typography. In the typography, we have the annotation that you saw in the video. We have all the intro titles that were used on the video as well. Uh, you have different kinds for cast, or for the credits, uh, details, um, Netflix again style, 13 years later, etc. And of course you have the quotes. The way you edit these effects is pretty simple and pretty usual in Final Cut Pro. What you do is that you select the layer, you go into the inspector panel on the right, and then you can adjust all the published parameters that they're available for each of the effects. So this is what it comes with a pack on the titles. Then we have transitions because all of the transitions that were used here on the video was from this pack. Let's go take a look. On the transitions we have a flash, a flicker, glass, light leaks, rewind and time jump. To be honest here though, I didn't use only the transitions from this pack. I used some transitions from a different pack that I will feature and you will see on a different video. But just to give you an idea, it's from the M Transition movie, where we have the blur cut, the camera shutter, we have dissolve, dizzy, double exposure, as you can see, all of these transitions that I will keep it for a different video. And when it's live, it's going to be linked right here. It will pop up and also in the description of this video down below. And for just a quick showcase on how to use the transitions, we simply drag the transition and place it between the clips. If it has enough space, it will automatically uh, create the transition. If not, it will create the transition manually. Hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today. If you did, I'm waiting you in the comment section down below. Thank you to Motion VFX. Thank you for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.